My name is Ben Edlund, and uh, I do the tick. When I first started doing the, the tick, uh, I was in high school, like senior year of high school, and I was working as a um, kind of artist on retainer for a company called New England Comics in Massachusetts, where I grew up. And the uh, tick was a, a joke that I had been toying with and a character that I had made very little up about. And the publisher saw it and s uh, the comic books that he was doing at the time owner of New England Comics saw it and said, that would be a good character, why don't you do something with that and I'll publish it. And I said, fine. The comic book was based on a kind of stream of consciousness rambling that I was uh, party to uh, at the time when I was writing the comic book. Um, it doesn't really have a plot structure and it's designed mainly around jokes and lengthy bits of character interaction. Hey, a giant statue. What is it? Oh, sure, now you ask. This is your self-image. Ooh, I look cool. This is our chance to delve deep into our psyche and find the immutable truth. You can ask it one and only one question. Okay, okay, one question. Check. <coughs> um, uh... How you doing? Great. That's your big question? That's your big truth? You goober. Look, thumbs up. We're doing fine. <laughs> That's good to know. The TV show has to have this very tight little motor of, of, a, of a plot because it's supposed to, it's designed for a younger audience at an entry level. So like, we're supposed to be able to create a story that is accessible to, uh, like, five to seven year olds or something and at the same time holds has enough room for inside it for jokes that like 35 year olds or older people will get this will take every ounce of my medical strength i must enter the tick's mind i wonder what the tick's worst nightmare will be <laughs> In an Pound. office? Pound. My Pound. worst nightmare! Pound. No! Pound. The tick, here's a shank of I need to fight the triplet to Anderson gave himself the promotion. Take it on so special anyone can touch it. Special anyone can touch it. It certainly has the subtext uh, that Rocky and Bullwinkle had. Um, and uh, we've got the crappy animation. <laughs> He's got a very difficult grasp on his sexuality. He doesn't really, <laughs> he doesn't understand the whole gender issue as it stands. Hi, Arthur. I'm home. Well, pretty quiet out there. Yeah, he didn't miss much. But at least it's hobby night. Uh, yeah, Tick, listen, about hobby night, I, um, do you think we could reschedule? You see, I have this date with Carmelita. But Arthur... You never miss hobby night. I know, I know. It's just, well, there's something special about Carmelita. I, huh, I've never felt this way before. Oh, look! Our little duck is almost finished. It's a masterpiece in macaroni. Dick, why are you making this hard for me? Why are you making it so easy for evil? Dick, it's only hobby night. You can't fight evil with a macaroni duck. I'll be the judge of that. Saturday morning, right here on Fox Kids. He's faster than a tall building. <laughs> Larger than a speeding bullet. Eat my justice. Smarter than a locomotive. This guy's skipping without a rope. He's no ordinary giant blue hero. He's the Tick. Talk if you love justice. <laughs> Don't miss the Tick Saturday morning on Fox Kids. He's got brains of steel. You can't fight evil with a macaroni duck. I'll be the judge of that.